All right, so what I'm showing you here is my uh, my receiver setup to get 16 channels. So you buy this micro receiver. It is S bus only. It comes with these uh, extra pins that I do not use. See, these are the instructions that show you where the bind button is. Um, but what's inside of here is actually this. So right here is the bind button. So you push that down uh, to bind. Um, so what I do, it's got those three holes right there. One two, three, and those go on this thing, the S-Bus decoder, you can see it says S-Bus right there, I actually cut those off, this is a bad one, one that I blew up, my mistake, um, put too much power to it, so anyways, that S bus decoder comes in this package here. That's a brand new one I haven't used. So what I end up doing is I bend the pins up and then I solder the one, two, three pins into there and that way it's not sticking out And it makes a very nice compact unit with your 16 channel for all, all the pins for hooking up your uh, your servos and whatever you're using it for. So anyways, the uh, receiver is $10 at getfpv.com. And I buy this from, I think it's Banggood, but anyways, I can get that for, uh, when I buy multiples, uh, it, it's somewhere around $14 and something. So for less than $25 shipped to me, I have those two things. And once you hook that up, then all you have to do is uh, put power to any one of these channels. Make sure you're using a BEC. If you're using a speed controller, don't just hook a battery up to one like I did. Um, make sure you're under 5 volts. And then you have to be pushing down the, uh, the bind button, which is right there, that little gold thing. You have to be pushing that down when you hook the battery up, just like any other that you... Uh, that you bind and then put power to it and uh, go into your radio and make sure you're set up for 16 channels on the radio I can do another video on that if people don't know how to do that and then uh, you just bind that and you can bind two of them at, at once like I did for my truck and my trailer and I have one receiver in the trailer and one in the truck and so basically it's still 16 channels but whatever is going on on channel 1 happens on both receivers so whatever switch you have hooked up to channel 1 it'll uh, control channel 1 on, on the other receiver um, so anyways I just wanted to show what kind of uh, receiver I was using for $25 for 16 channels. Uh, to me, that's uh, pretty incredible. I've seen some crazy prices even getting up into the 6 channels for a radio and a 6 channel receiver. So uh, with these QX7s, they do 16 channels. And that right there. So $100, $110, 115 Depending on where you buy it, you can get one brand new. And then 
that for twenty five dollars. So one hundred twenty five, one hundred thirty five, one hundred forty dollars. You have a sixteen channel setup. Now it does come with. Let me find it. The QX7 does come with the. Uh, no, that's an 8R. Excuse me. Um, it comes with a six uh, six channel receiver, but I don't even use them. I bought that 8R. I don't use it. I strictly use uh, this 16 channel setup in everything that I use because I I can buy this cheaper than I can the 6R or the 8R. So at $25. Um, that's a pretty good deal.